Hi, I'm acoustic guitar editor Scott Nygaard, here to play the musical examples for this edition of Weekly Workout, which features ascending and descending slurs, otherwise known as hammer-ons and pull-offs. When I was first getting serious about playing the guitar, I occasionally found that there were days when my left hand would start hurting an hour or so into a gig. As a young, self-taught guitarist, I hadn't given much thought to the concept of warming up my hands before playing. So I asked a classical guitarist friend of mine about this, and he suggested some slur exercises that would warm up each finger equally and also improve my hammer-on and pull-off technique in the process. These exercises proved to be a great warm-up and also gave me ways to strengthen my fretting hand. Week one's workout is the core of these slur exercises. In these first examples, we'll play slurs with each combination of fretting hand fingers, starting in example one with ascending slurs or hammer-ons, played with the index and middle fingers at the first fret, and working our way from the bottom string to the top string and back down. So here's example one. Example two does the same thing, but uses the index and ring fingers. Example three uses the index and little fingers. Example four uses the middle and ring fingers. Example five, the middle and little fingers. Finally, the last combination in example six, the ring and little fingers. As you might imagine, you can do these exercises for descending slurs, pull-offs, as well. Example seven is the pull-off version of example one, and you could also play pull-off versions of examples two through six as well. I'll just play example seven. These exercises, with or without the additional pull-off exercises, make a great slur workout. But if you want to turn it into a full-fledged 20 to 30 minute warm-up routine, then play each exercise starting not only in first position, but with your index finger at the second, third, fourth, and fifth frets. So after doing move up to and so on, up to third fret, fourth fret, and fifth fret. But if these exercises are new to you, don't overdo it. It's important to make sure you don't hurt your hand. Take each example slowly. These could, for example, just as easily have been written with quarter or half notes instead of eighth notes. Etc. But concentrate on producing clear tones. Work on speed only when you can produce clear notes with each finger. If the exercises initially feel too difficult at the first fret, you can try playing them just at the fifth or third frets. Up there where the string tension will be lower. Remember to pick only the first of each pair of notes and hammer or pull off forcefully to produce the second of each pair. As you pick the first note of each hammer on, try to keep the finger that is getting ready to play the subsequent slur just above the string and then quickly hammer down onto the string. Don't rear back and throw your finger at the string. Like This is a waste of motion and will quickly tire your hand. For the pull-offs, remember to pull or snap your finger down across the string to produce
use the slur. Don't just lift your finger off the string. Once you're comfortable with the basic exercises in week one, you can start mixing up the slurs to add some variety to these drills. In this week's workout, we'll combine a few slurs on each string before moving on to the next string. Example eight is a comprehensive index finger ascending slur workout. Index middle, index ring, and index little on each string. In example nine, we combine index ring and middle little. Example 10 finishes this week's workout with a middle ring index little finger exercise. <laughs> 